and we're back. Okay, so we just leveled up our general and our hero. And what else did we have to do in this turn? Let's double check our armies. This one's moved and acted. This one is regenerating. Not likely. Right, this one is regenerating men. However, there is this army here that we need to off. Because this one will continue to spawn units if we don't take care of it. Right, so we will take care of it. What does the Emperor bid? It is war! We're just gonna auto resolve this. There's no risk of any units getting lost because of weird uh, power balance calculations. We have a lot of this stuff as well. We're just gonna auto it. Right, great, amazing. We didn't really lose anything. We lost a couple of men of this and this and this. Yeah. Gain some money. Wiped out the rebels. We'll take the money again. Go battle. Kill and battle. Great. Pit fight. Plus seven melee attack for our guy. I assume this is specifically for the general. Okay. So he got a level up. Let's have a look at our war priest. He is expansionist. And so the question then is, what do we want to give our war priest specializations in? I wonder if Restorer stacks with Provider in my own army. Or if he has to be separate. Um, right. Let's 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 find out actually. Because this could be quite useful, but I think a restorer will be more useful for us because we can more easily regenerate men. So we'll take a point of actually no, we won't. We will undo this. So okay. It is time. Is it? Uh, how can I say how many men they will regenerate next turn? It's very hard to say. If, so if we call that a very small amount of men, that will be regenerated next turn. Oh, and there's a wild text message. All right, we'll leave that to one side for a bit. There's another wild text message. We'll leave that to one side a bit again. So we'll replenish troops to replenish per turn is two. And five turns to fully replenish. So two five, two four. So let's let's try to remember, right? Oh, okay, it's another good one. Here, this is so the, because this one is a more granular number, as in we can more accurately see if there's a real change. So seventy six hit points will be regenerated, and it will take us nine turns to regenerate them. All right then, seventy six and nine. So if we go to our war priest. Let's do another one. 76 and 9. And 2 and 3. 2 and 4, 2 and 5. I don't know. If that actually has an effect, 76 and 9. Let's move him out of the army. He's not regenerating at all. I will marshal the bed. 4 and 1. Thirty-four and one. Off on him. And put, put him inside. Empire. Yes. By the comet. It's still 34 and 1. Right, so let's take him out again. We'll Disagree move him out. With that. <coughs> we'll move him out, and I'll take. So let's look at these gunners. So this gunner unit is four and two. Let Even though he is outside. Right. Encourage resistance. Casualty replenishment rate plus eight. Forces in local owned region. So, uh, so four and two, four and two. Yes, son of Sigma. 
Healing. What do you require? Well, I can now go into that one. The Empire. Okay. To the, the provinces. Empire. That's really strange. Onwards. Sigma heals us. I guess I can't jump up in and out of an army too often. Now. So. That's not worth the money. Embed hero. A time to heal. I guess he can't do that. Interesting. Who calls? Growth plus fifty. That's significant. That is a the significant number. Calls. Because these only like because 50 growth is only generated from this building here, so we can really quite drastically improve growth over a region. Um, Raise sigma. We're gonna move Let the army move. back in to mitigate some of this negative ticking, and then I think we will move on to the next army. I can't actually tell if if us taking that trait at all gave us a benefit. I'm completely unimpressed so far with that trait. Um, right, so the next army. Carl Franz is still sieging for another four turns. Our uh, bounty hunter. I'll ignore that. Some so cannons there. Bounty hunter should probably head towards. Not bounty hunter, excuse me. Witch hunter. I will not obey. I want to send him towards these guys, but maybe I should just float around near in my own armies. Yes, <coughs> this army is regenerating. He's the nothing, the nothing, the nothing. Da, 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 da. Okay, so there's not, not a whole lot going on. Let's check out the economy situation. Marienburg. is growing in population uh, plus 90 this is fine this is fine this is going to 150 64 how expensive that is to first build 2500 that is 1000 1.5 I think we'll invest in the economy and do that okay let's get this cup of tea going Mm -hmm. uh, right. Not investing there. Slight investment. This is local populace untainted chaos events one. This is an annoyance trending towards twenty. Volley fire we have. We are getting merchant fleets. I believe this is all that we're really going to do this turn. Um, so, what do these dwarves want? They want to trade. I will agree with this. It's a dwarven empire here. Then I wonder where the, most of the orcs are. I wonder if the orcs are down here, dwarves are here, then you have NPC dwarves up along this. It's like the, the quote unquote dwarven faction spawns here, right? And then. They spawn uh, dwarven factions around here, NPC ones, and they spawn the orc faction, the orc playable faction around here. Southern Badlands. Nagash is this way, by the way, if you didn't know. This is Nagash land. Bad stuff happens over here. And actually, where is... No, that's... Mm. Let, well, let's have a look at that in a, in a minute. Yeah, right, this is the Wood Elves. This chunk of small dots is the Wood Elves. That is the extent of my memory of this Warhammer land. Trader Goomba will generate so much money. Tariff exports will generate... You know, exporting so much more. We will accept that offer. We need to get to trade with more of our friendly living f people. We cannot trade with... with um, with I assume with orcs. Oh, Hockland. Do you want a peace treaty? Is that what you're asking? Okay. How many territories do you have left? Reliable. You have two territories. 
Midland, I assume this is two ter territory. This is like a border going across the middle. Uh, you have this. Um, I do not accept because I want middle land and I want this and I guess I'll take that also. So, no thank you. We'll go and go to the next one. Mm-hmm. How fares the Karazan mm -hmm. in these dark times? Interesting. They are at war with Bretonia, right? And because Britonia doesn't want us to have treaties with these guys, we're not going to accept it. Right. Because if we accept this, Britonia will like us even less. So, no, we will not accept. This is also a very small dwarven faction, right? There's no point making friends with people that can't take care of their own business. Celestial College implores that I hear you. I remain unconvinced. Kislev, what do you guys want? Oh, amazing. They would like to trade. Huh? Mm. Ah, okay. Yeah, we'll, we can accept this. So we should now have a lot more money coming in. Oi, oi. Oi, 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 where are these guys going? We have lost someone. Who did we lose? We were critically assassinated by a bad, bad person. Who was Otter? Warrior priest. Oh, mmm. That is unfortunate. This would break my vows. That's really Neither unfortunate. Comment. I do not. Mm. Where is my assassin? Who calls? Because you know. Because you know that is just unacceptable. I refuse. So, but some stuff happened over here. This is a problem. No. Like, an immediate problem that I must absolutely deal with right now. The nation calls. Never. Who are th these are Chaos Marauders. What would be the best way to solve this problem? What would be the best way to sort this problem? <clears throat> How do they have ships? I want ships. What does the Emperor bid? This army needs to regenerate men much, much faster than it's presently doing. This rate is unacceptable. This needs to hurry up and take down as well. We have, we are overextended, and this surprise is very unwelcomed. We are probably going to lose this city. We are very likely to lose this city, Grissel. And maybe even Marenburg can get threatened. We need to take this army. And we need to... What is the... 27 minus 2. 27 minus 8. Yes. Yeah, that's significant. If we enter this stance... Can we do anything interesting with these? It is for the best. If we do that, we regenerate men faster, but Just we have no the movement Empire. points. What we need to do is we need to get here very, very quickly. We can't go through this forest, so our options is to go down this road or to go around. And I think going around is unacceptable, so we'll go to the road. Moving off!
Um, I would like to with Kislev. Yeah, hello, Kislev. I would like a military access. Mm, disappointed. Would you please give me military access so I can cross this strip of land that you have inherited from these guys? Yes, my lord. Moreover, we need more men. Um. They actually have cav, what does the emperor bid? which means that we must have spearmen, right? Something like that, I feel. And I also what? feel that we need to move this guy into a more advantageous position March to help deal with this problem. Witches. What could they possibly achieve here? They could get, they can land only at the beach, but they can also land here. Okay, so right, if you can look at the map here, this section is cliffed off but they can enter on this turn on the beach here and I think they will they do that they're still here from here I can move to maybe here and reinforce Grissel right okay that's that let's let's flip through our stacks again there's an army here no to the provinces? Absolutely not. Okay. Not likely. What? If I leave this town, corruption will take down harder. But I need to siege it. I must siege this to stop this army filling. Otherwise, this will be a problem that I'll have to deal with in a minute. This needs to hurry up and finish. Absolutely not. Will fight with you. Maybe we should just force their hand. And you know, looking at these siege numbers, I think we'll force their hand. Let's not do this just yet. Let's force their hand. Now, the question is, do we want to fight this battle ourselves or not? Do we want to auto-calculate this victory or not? <laughs> Let's auto the battle. Hopefully we do not lose too much in terms of manpower. But let's auto the battle. That could have been worse. That could have been a lot worse, but it's okay. We lost half our hit points on uh, the mage, on uh, Conrad, and just over, uh, just under half on Karl of Franz. I was not really paying attention to what we just got, by the way. So let's let's see after this battle. We do not want to subjugate them. You will become master of the conquered faction, and they will become your vassal, paying tribute each turn. No, it's just not worth our time. This is nice, but no, I want the land. This we're we're going to do this. Yes, we're absolutely doing this. To strengthen the empire. We gained crown of command, which is for 25 seconds we can make a unit unbreakable. We've secured the province and can issue commandments. We have destroyed a faction called Middleland. The nation calls. And did he gain a level? Did he gain a level? I can't quite tell. Did he? Yes, he did. Carl Franz got a level up. Okay. It's Carl Franz, we're going towards there, we're going towards there. Weapon damage. Yes, because percentages of a big number is amazing. Four seeker, rune fang, we need to get our rune fang. Okay, and then I assume you also got a level, my wizard friend, which you did. Good. Mm hmm. Time warp, banishment. That's, that's quite impressive. How can I maybe counter struck vampiric? Okay, so we've not really looked. 
at the um, strategic options that we have available for our wizard. We can gain corruption resistance, we can assault units better, this is for the first set of four. We can generate more income from buildings, this is maybe quite a nice, depending like if we have a super profitable region, an extra 15% on top of that will be super nice. And then do damage to zap, assassinate, okay. Hardy, this is a waste of space I think. This, this is just a boring, boring um, trait. Increases the chance of post-battle magic drop items. Okay, this is maybe quite interesting. Council of Province increase public order. Hero self-defense. Okay. The only ones out of here that I think are interesting is the money one, and maybe and a lesser to extent the uh, corruption reduction. Out of these four, I think the most interesting and probably the most beneficial one is the find magical items. <coughs> Well, then again, this is only really useful if the wizard is embedded in the army. If the wizard is running around doing his own thing, then this is not very useful. Aid might be interesting, Advocate Hardy. But really, the wizard is... Because this is the last tier, this is not very interesting for him. Power Drain, Conduit. We really need this one soon, because this allows us... Arcane Conduit allows us to regenerate um, power reserves and the recharge rate, which is important so we can keep casting spells. Um, but then the question is, what do we want to pick up in the process of getting there? Maybe miscast reduction, power drain, maybe winds of magic reserves. This is this is a right. This will affect everyone in an area. Do that. I, actually, I was thinking about this. I might have been under the uh, misconception. I might have had a misconception about how the upgrade functionality works. Right. So, what I was thinking before is that you need both of these pips to enable the upgraded casting of time warp. But I think that's incorrect. I think all that the second pip does is reduce the level, the cooldown reduction of the time warp. I hope. I hope I am correct in that assumption. In fact, actually no, we really need to do a fight. We should have done this fight to test out this mechanic, right? Because we can have, we have level 1 net, but level 2 protection. We really should have tested out whether that logic was true or not. Um, So this is a melee buff, melee and speed buff. This is a melee buff, this is also a melee buff. This is ally, but this is a single unit. Single unit for 14 seconds. But if it's power cast, it's an AoE. Right, so if we toggle spell, we power cast it, it's an AoE. This one it's always a baseline is an AoE, but if we power cast, it's a bigger AoE. The interesting thing is, so here by the looks of it, light wizards are very much about buffing your own army and protecting it from enemy armies, right? Like this is a buff. This is, I guess no. This is this is an offensive spell, vortex. Creatures of the dark beware, for magic users have light powers. Causes magical damage, strong versus multiple units, can disrupt formations. Large moving area of effect. I wonder how these actually, if they move in straight lines or not, or if it's random, what's the upgraded version? Deals magical and fire damage. I honestly don't fully know how this interaction works with the pips really hard to say. It's really hard to say. <clears throat> I think for the wizard we will take a magical power reserve. We'll take power drain.
Yes, yes, we will. Right, that's done. Yes. Um, we've taken this. Friends, this is uh, probably a good place for us to take a quick break, and I'll see you in the next video.